Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com. In this video, we're going to explore the Wacom tablet a little bit further, but first, please check out my free video series on workflow available via my website, unless of course you enjoy losing your photographs. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just hope that it provides you a better structure for your workflow. Okay, so if you're new to tablets, then you are most likely used to interacting with your computer via your mouse. And when you start with a tablet, it can be really disorienting because the positioning is different. I've heard some people say it's like learning how to drive in a foreign country where you drive on the opposite side of the road. And the reason is that it uses two different types of positioning. So the mouse uses relative positioning and that's really good when the movements are limited so you pick up you set down you drag you click and it's relative to the monitor but with tablets it's absolute positioning and that is the tablet is mapped with the stylus directly to the monitor and just as an aside I have mapped my tablet only to my large monitor. I haven't mapped it to this monitor because I'm, I'm typically doing my editing on my large monitor, so it doesn't make sense. But when you're using it, it's, I would say, extremely disorienting because you're like, whoa, where's my cursor? And you're trying to use the same movements that you would use for mouse, but that doesn't work. So in this video, I put together a few exercises to help you sort of retrain your muscle memory for the absolute positioning. And, and it will take time. There is a learning curve for some people. It's a little steeper than others, but it's absolutely worth it. So let's get started. The key to mastering your tablet is hand-eye coordination. Some people don't have any problem with this, but others can find it very frustrating. With sufficient practice, anyone can become an expert at using their Wacom tablet. First, I would like you to download the files I've provided for this exercise available on my website. Once you have those files saved, you can choose any application that utilizes a brush tool. In this video, I'm using Lightroom because it has become ubiquitous with photographers, but you could just as easily use Photoshop by creating a new layer and using the brush tool. I'm going to start by importing these files into Lightroom. I'm going to press Command Shift I on the Mac, that's Control Shift I on the PC. And I created this folder called Wacom. I have these three files. I'm going to go ahead and click Import. We're going to start with this canvas and I'm going to go ahead and press D on my keyboard to access the develop module. I'm zoomed in a little bit further than I would like, so I'm going to press command minus, that's control minus on the PC. For this exercise, we're going to use the adjustment brush. We're going to access that brush by pressing K on our keyboard. I'm going to make sure that the exposure is set to negative four and I'm going to choose a color. In this case, I favor pink, but <laughs> you could choose any color that you would like. Set your size to 0.1, your feather to zero, your flow to 100, auto mask off, and your density to 100. I want you to start by simply drawing vertical lines to connect the dots. We're going to tackle these exercises from beginner through expert, but even if you've been using the tablet for years, you can still benefit from practice, as evidenced by my lines. <laughs> Next, I'd like you to draw a line from the right to the left on the top, followed by a line from the left to the right on the bottom. I would like you to repeat this on the entire canvas. And if you think that this is silly, I assure you it is not. This will greatly improve your hand-eye coordination and train your muscle memory on using absolute positioning with your tablet. And if you think that you don't have time, I assure you, you do. <laughs> we have way more resources than we can ever imagine. I, you know, I wonder sometimes if it ever occurs to anyone that the reason they are so busy is because they continue to say that they are so busy. The next time you find yourself maybe lamenting to someone about how busy you are, why don't you try to be different and say, you know what, things are great. I have plenty of time to accomplish what I need to. Because the fact is, you do what you want to do and you always fill the time allotted. Okay, let's move on to a more intermediate skill. I'm going to select the canvas with the lines. For this exercise, I'd like for you to practice your signature. And if you're right-handed, your tendency might be to write your signature <laughs> at a line, kind of something like that. Okay, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. I'm gonna use two lines to write my signature. And I'm gonna pay attention to the positioning, attempting to keep it on that line. And yes, that is indeed how I sign my last name. My last name is Lautinen, 
and it's a little bit long and it takes too much time to sign. So I usually just scribble it. <laughs> and the reason we're using your signature is because it's something that you're very familiar with. So you can repeat this all over this canvas. And by the way, we're just working with nodes uh, via the adjustment brush. So if at any time you don't like what's happening, you can just press delete or backspace on your keyboard and you can start over. So I'm going to try again. Also note your tablet position relative to your monitor. Some people enjoy a symmetrical position that is right in front of the monitor or keyboard, while others prefer an asymmetrical position, maybe at an angle sort of off to the left or right, depending on your hand preference. For the more advanced exercise, we're going to jump to this canvas with these fun shapes, and we're going to try to trace the shapes on this canvas. I'm not going to spend all the time in the video going over these shapes, but you can see how to do this. Just practice with these shapes. Again, if you don't like what's happening, just press delete or backspace on your keyboard to remove that node or pin and start over and try again and just practice, practice, practice. And it will take some time, but you'll get very used to this positioning. Okay, let's finish with sort of an expert exercise. We're going to go back to the canvas with lines. I'm going to press H on my keyboard so I can see this node or pin. I'm going to select it and press delete. So for this expert exercise, what I want you to start with is just making circles. So just make a whole bunch of circles connected like this. Try to keep them on the line and just practice. And then what you can do is maybe make, you know, this type of shape and just keep practicing this doodle and then trying to keep it in between two lines like this. And then if you really want to exercise your hand-eye coordination, we could try that doodle again, but let's do this. Let's start small and go a little bit bigger and then a lot bigger and then small again. So you could practice that doodle repeatedly. So you're going to a larger size and then back down to a smaller size and See if you can master that. And over time, you will. And the more you practice, well, see, that one was not that great. <laughs> the better you'll get. What I'd like you to do is repeat these exercises periodically, and that will help to program your muscle memory with the absolute positioning, and you'll be an expert at your tablet in no time. I hope that you found this useful. Please share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.